God, ask you to look on me right now, Lord God. Straighten my body, Lord God. Straighten my mind, Lord God. Give me the word from your car and glory, Lord God. Knowing me, Lord God, for your glory, Lord God. Give the people the receiving spirit right now, Lord God. Do it with praise like you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Judah, I give honor to God, to the bishop, to Amen. the mothers, to the trustees, to everybody. Everybody, somebody, y'all. And I just thank God for just being here today. Thank him for this opportunity. I just thank God for another chance to see. Go, God been good to me. Amen. God is good. We're going to get ready. We're going to Matthew to. The 16th chapter of Matthew. And uh, we're going to start at the 18th verse. You got it, Sister Jack? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we don't, I don't need but three, three verses. And I Two. Say, okay. Uh, and I say also unto two thee, verses. that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Use for a little thought, loose here. Mm. Loose here. Now, th th this here was Jesus talking, y'all. He told Peter, what's an ever? He said, he said this to Peter, and I say it also unto thee that thou art Peter, and I put this rock. He called Peter a rock. Peter had went through a whole lot, but he called Peter a rock, unless the word is wrong. He said, he was talking to Peter, he said, I put this rock. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail again. God can build on them, and the gates of hell can not prevail again. He said, whatever you bind on earth, he said, I'm abandoning in him. God can give you so much of power, you can bind the enemy. And I don't care how much the enemy try, the enemy can't go far. Some of us is bound. Sometimes the people in the church is bound. That's why they're not moving. That's why they're not going no far. Because they're the best with God people. He said, whatever you bind on, him, on, on earth, I'm abandoning heaven. So that lets you know you're not going to heaven and getting loose. You got to get whatever you do, you got to get it right while you down here. If you talk about me, I'm like a gun. I'm standing between you and God. Sometimes people say, well, I went back to God and I repented. But if you didn't come back to me, in hell, you won't lift up your eyes. He told Peter, he said, whatever you lose, if you lose it. See, a lot of us ain't lose. Because we done did our fellow man wrong. And our fellow man didn't lose us. We got to be loose down here to make it to heaven. You can run to this altar all you want. But if you don't lie on me and mistreated me, you better come back to me and get it right. And then come to the altar. When you setting up criticizing everybody, talking about your fellow man, your sisters and your brothers, it's a good. It's just like a good between you and God. You're not going to heaven. He said, let your conversation be yeah, yeah, and nay, nay. You don't know what you're talking about, you keep your mouth shut. Sometimes it's better for you not to say nothing than to say something. It's better for you not to say nothing. And you might well go ahead and say something anyway when you're bowing your head. Well, I hear you, sister. But do you know it's true what your sister's saying? I want to be like Peter. I don't been through a lot of things. People talk about what Peter did, but they didn't think about what Peter what Peter ended up being. Amen. God built on him. And I don't, I don't mean just build on him. He built the word. He had the word in Peter. 
He didn't know what to do. So a lot of times we feel like, well, God building on that, but God can build on you. He said, whatever I, whatever I build on, ain't no devil in hell can pluck it out. If you doing right about God, no matter what nobody say or nobody do, ain't no devil in hell can reach and pluck you out. Because you standing for the word of God. And the word of God is right back by itself. A lot of times we get some misunderstanding of what God trying to get us to see. But God want us to be a rock for him. He don't care if you've been a murderer. He don't care if you've been a homeowner. A uh, backbiter. He don't care if you've been a liar. But if you get right with God, God can be on you. God will save your soul. And he'll set you free. He'll set you free. No matter what I did 20 years ago. No matter what I did 30 years ago. But I'm talking about the new me. Do you know the new me? Sometimes you don't know the new person. We're still looking back at what they did. But what is they doing right now? What is they doing right now? Some of them people's out there in the world. We're running them down. Oh, they are drug addicts. They this and they did. But God going to bring them into the house of the Lord. And God going to save them, huh? And he going to be alone, huh? And he going to put them over some of y'all. See, some of uh, sometimes now, nah, we think we got it. We think we know who's going to be over us 10 years or 20 years. Huh? Oh, I'm doing this in the church. Huh? And I'm doing that in the church. But don't nobody run God to it. Nobody run God to it. You get a man, a woman, a God, and they real. They'll let you know you're not running this church. Because it's God's house. Amen. And you're not in control. Yes, See, we don't got out of play. Yes. We feel like the, the church ain't going on. This building might be torn down, but God's church still going on. All right. Amen. This church still going on. God got some real people, y'all. You might not be real, but God got some real people. God got some people that ain't gonna take down. Ain't gonna take down for you, ain't gonna take down for me. Now Peter, I, I think about Peter cut the man you know, But he was doing it for God. He did the wrong thing, but he felt like he was defending his God. And sometimes we feel like we defending God, but God don't need no defending. God can defend his own sin. He said he happy and he obeyed. He the beginning and he the end. God can say hand down. God can say shut your mouth and you can't say another word. But God, you think about the woman at the way. A lot of people say a lot of things about her. But God built her. He saved and told her to go in me. God built on that woman. When God saved you, he built up. It's up to you how many bricks you want to put there. Uh, a concrete or whatever you want to put in your life. Some of the saints need to put some concrete. Some are stabilized. So anything that come along won't shake their faith. But sometimes people let anything shake their faith. They'll follow anything that come along to the quote of scripture. Anything come along to the quote of scripture. Or you say, well, oh, they know more than me. You might know more than me, but I know how to get to hell. That's all I need to know. I need to know how to get to hell. I, I need to know how to live right. It ain't in the quote of the scripture, but it's in living right, y'all. There's a lot of people studying so they can quote the scripture, but they ain't living there. They ain't living there. They wouldn't way around you and another way around somebody. They ain't living there. So we need to get ourselves get ourselves in a position. Cause we got to go through. Everybody in here done went through stuff. And you can look back over your life and say, I won't go through that no more. I don't have to go through that no more. Because I done come through that. And I know how to shine myself from that. I'm not gonna go down that same road no more. That's like a person that drank. I can say something because I have drank before. 
You say, well, I ain't never been alcohol. But I, I've been around alcohol. They'll say that morning when they get up. I'm so sick, I don't know what to do. I'll never take another drink. <laughs> and they on their way out the door wrap D to get them a drink. See, I can talk, I had a sister. And she would be shaking in the morning when she wake up. She had to drink raw eggs to sell her her stuff. But she was on her way to get another drink ready. Go, you know what she say? That's the only thing gonna sell her my stuff. There's another drink. That's an alcohol. That's just like a drug addict. When he come down off that high, he say, oh no. I don't know what happened to me last night. I ain't gonna take no more. But let somebody come along and shake it in the back. They're gonna be sniffing again. I'm telling you, until God save you, you can do good for a while. But until God save, I'm talking about saving. Now there's some people saying they save and he saved. I have said I was saved and I told people that I know I was saved. But when I look back over my life, I won't save the way God wanted me to be saved. Because if I did, I wouldn't have been going along with a lot of mess that I went along with. But I told God to stand to me and I won't let the devil in hell. But look at me out. I won't let the devil in hell make me take that. You can talk all you want and you can quote all the scriptures you want. But I'm going to still stand on what I believe in. I ain't a dog, so I'm not going back to my farm. And the people that taught me, I believe they taught me right. God got me this for So I'm not fit to change. I'm not, people can change all they want. Well, you know they say it don't take all this. I can, I can do this and I can do that. It's just some things I know in the sin. But I won't do it. I won't do it because I was taught against I will not do it. I'm not a dog. And I refuse to go back to my dog. If it was wrong yesterday for me to do it, it's wrong to do it for me. And it might not be wrong for you, but I know it's wrong for me. That's why I don't get in groups because I say ain't nobody going to influence me with their meds. You start getting in groups and you get in flow. If you don't see it their way, they don't want to have nothing to do with you. But to serve God, you got to stay. And can't take that and don't take that. I love him. Been winning 50 some years. How old you, boy? 50 some years. I've been winning about 58, 59 years. But I won't take that for you. I won't take that. I will, I will not lose my salvation for nobody. Amen. Ain't nobody worth me losing my salvation. Amen. Ain't nobody worth me looking, putting low in my standing. That's true. Nobody. For all saints ought to have a stand. There's so far that they are going, so far that they won't go. There's some things they should would do, and some things they wouldn't do, whether it's right or wrong. Some things they know ain't wrong, but they just won't do it. Because you know what? It'll stand in somebody else's way. Sometimes people say, well, if that meat offends you, I will eat it when I'm around. You eat nothing but a hypocrite. You don't want to eat it, too. If I eat meat and it offends Sister Jackson, I'm not going to touch that meat no more. Because I ain't nothing but a hypocrite. I'm going to do it when I, I ain't going to eat it when I'm around her, but when I ain't around, I'm going to eat it. it. Ain't nothing but a hypocrite. And I'll tell anybody that's what it is, a hypocrite. We, 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 we can't stand in one another way. We want God to build on us. We want God to take us high. We want to close the walk with God. We want to say when we lay hand, God do the work right there. We want those things because he promised it to. But it's a standard you got to have to get. You can't be around a lot of people running their mouth all the time. You can't be in crowds to stay, keep that connection with God. You got to have a separation there. Because you do. You do. if you eat, you'll find, find yourself laughing and grinning when a sinner man says something. Okay. And the first thing he's going to do, he's going to brag and he's going to say, She ain't no better than me. He ain't no better than me. Yes, she laughing at my joke. They will say. Mm -hmm. So we got to be careful, y'all. Yes, we, we got to be careful. Peter went through before he got where he was. Glory. But Peter got himself together. And God knew what he would have given. God could have built on Peter way long time ago if he wanted to. But he knew Peter was still doing a little mess. 
He didn't have no bit to do. Amen. Even when Peter would call himself, take it up for him. It still was sin. Because God don't need us to take up for him. Amen. God need us to live right. Amen. He want us to be like, like I said before, well, he want us to be like his guy. When we come to him, he want us to be able to call him faith. If God can dry up cancer, y'all, God can drop any other kind of disease That's you get. Amen. See, we say, well, God, God, you know, I'm asking God, I'm asking God. But is you got the qualification? Is you living up to the standard where you can go to God and tell God to do it? You got to live up to the standard. When you go to God to call in a favor, you got to make sure that you're doing what's right. Amen. God ain't no, God ain't nothing to play with. You, you be saved today and tomorrow when you get around the other crowd, you ain't saved. But I want to I wanna live so. I don't know about nobody. But I want to live so my children can't spot my life. I want to live so my grandchildren can't spot my life. I, I love them, but I won't take down from them. I'm going to tell them the truth. I ain't going to go along with no fool. I'm going to tell them the truth. Because when you don't tell your family the truth, your, the blood is on your hands. Amen. When they think that they're going, you let them get away with one thing, they're going to get away with something. That's right. And this thing started at home. This starts at home. We got to start teaching at home Amen. of what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to act. If we're going to ever get in a position where Peter did, where Hezekiah did. When the woman of the issue of blood went to Jesus, she went with a pure heart. She, did. she went with a pure heart. I don't believe the woman waited till she got where Jesus was for her heart to get pure. Because she said if she could just get to him, yes, touch to him and his garden, she had enough of faith that she believed that she was going to be made whole. Amen. Amen. You, don't have to, you don't have to do the whole touch. Just touch to him and his garden. Yes, and you could be made whole. But that God want us to be like that. God want a gentleman to be between the saints. Now I know we get up sometimes and we say what the old saints did. What's wrong with the new saints? I, I, I ain't figuring it yet out what's wrong with this, the new saints. I'm talking to me too. I told y'all this one time before and I never forget this Sunday morning. Mother Murphy had cancer. And pus was coming out of her chest because she was wearing her towel up there. I know Sister Elaine done heard her mama say something about it. And pus was coming out of her chest. And Mother Murphy got up in his feet. Three women, she said, the Lord told her to tell them to lay her hand, lay their hands in her chest. God dried the counselor. God dried it up. So God, God is a miracle worker. I done seen enough of miracles work. But to know what God can do. But people says, I don't know what they're waiting on. It's time out for playing church, y'all. It's time to tell God to be alone. It's time to tell God to be alone. We are playing around the shallow water long enough. But we it's time for us to lift out into the deep now. We ought to be able to swim now. We ought to be able to go through now. But some still around the shadow wall. Been in church 20 years and still around the shadow wall. Still playing around. Talking about what your mama did. And your mama might be in hate. Yes, sure. and your, your mama might be in hate. I don't know where my at. You don't know where yours is. <laughs> I hear sometimes people say, oh, I, I remember Miss Letha. I remember your mama too. I know more about your mama than you do about it. See, I'm one of the old ones. They say, I'm one of the old ones I'm up in this neck, neck of the woods. So I, so I know a lot of things people think I don't know. But some things you need to just let it die. You don't need to remember when. That's right. But God is good, y'all. God is good. Thank you for joining our service today. We pray that something was said, saying, or done that would help and encourage you along your Christian walk with God. We never like to end a uh, broadcast or taping without offering you the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior. The Bible teaches and gives us these commands in Romans. 
It tells us that we ought to, one, believe with our hearts, and two, confess with our mouth that God has raised Jesus from the dead. We believe that if you do these two things, that you're saved. All you have to do today is have a talk with God and tell God that you're tired and you're sorry for all the sins you've done. And we believe that God will come into your life and He will save you. It's just that simple. Take a little time and have a conversation with God and tell God to save you. Tell Him to deliver you. Tell Him to set you free. Tell Him you're tired of the sins you're in. And we believe that today will be the best day of your life when you choose God as your Savior. God, we thank you for that soul that has now made you their Lord and Savior. God, we pray now that you will cover them, that you would keep them, that you would be the Lord over their life, that you would show them your way, God, and you will show them how to walk circumspectly upon your precepts and your concepts. And God, if you do these things, we will forever thank you and we will forever give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Listen, find yourself a Bible-preaching, Bible-believing, good church. A church that will help you grow with your Christian walk with God. We believe that from this day forth, your life will never be the same again. Take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Until we meet again, Shalom. If you would like to join us in person at Click Chapel of Praise, you can join us Sundays at 9.45 a.m. for Sunday School and at 11 a.m. for morning worship. Prayer and Bible study every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. And if you would like to donate, you can do so by cash app dollar sign CCOP Church. Thank you for worshiping with us.